Hey guys, I'm back from VI DIY Fest and I had an excellent time. I'm going to show you some pictures and some clips of different speakers I saw and things we did and um, just let you in on the kind of fun I had. I gotta just remind people that YouTube is a terrible way to evaluate speakers. Any clips you hear of the speakers there, just disregard them. They're just there to kind of fill in what we were doing and things like that. They're not meant for you to judge the sound quality. As for how these did, I got a lot of great compliments. People seem to like them. Personally, I was a little disappointed with them. I thought they sound better at home. Um, we were in an outdoor environment, and maybe that had something to do with it. Hey, it was still fun to bring them, and I had an excellent time. Check out these photos and videos, and um, let me know what you think. Here I am coming down the Malahat, the infamous Malahat from where I live in Ladysmith down to the Langford area where Dave is in Planet 10 Hi-Fi. And uh, if you have seen the discussions on these events or looked at the directions on how to get to Dave's place, he talks about going up the mountain. And he is not kidding. This is a two-lane road, uh, which there's hardly ever space for more than one car. Um, and if a car comes the other direction, you both have to kind of pull over and try to get by each other. So up on up I go, and I'll see you at the top. Well, hopefully that gave you a bit of an idea of just how far up the mountain Dave really is. And this is me pulling into his driveway here. He has a beautiful spot. Uh, it's perfect for an event like this. Lots of places to park and camp and lots of space uh, away from neighbors so you don't have to worry about making too much noise. And I'm just going to pull right in and be, uh, be that guy who pulls right to the end because i got to unload. Quite a variety of speakers here you can see, and uh, quite a mess of speakers in some cases. Endless speakers and gear and equipment, and all night long we're changing things out to listen to stuff like we're doing here. <laughs> These were some Alpair horns that were built by Scott, made out of solid maple. And these are my speakers, I got them up and running. These little guys were built by Dave R, and it was kind of fun to see what such a little speaker could do. This is Dave R. We need Ryan. What do you need me for? Please take a layer of that and put it over top of the patty. It's time for a barbecue. Always tons of food, really good food every year. And there's always a raffle. This is Dave. Cal, you almost have to undo your shirt. <laughs> I just had to turn away the camera for this. I was not going to look at this. But considering all the whistling and everything I did, I just closed my eyes and turned the camera back towards him, just in case uh, any of you guys were interested in seeing what kind of looks like topless. I think he broke my camera though.
<laughs> All right, is everyone on the deck? From Meta Sound, but with a full enable treatment on it. It's the woofers in the frugal horn lights. With this is the table of goodies to win. And here's some of the winners. And I gathered up my things to head on out. It was so dark I couldn't even see what speakers were playing. And here I am pulling out of Dave's driveway and heading home. These are the Mark Audio drivers I won. There was a layer of cardboard covering them there, but I pulled it out and think I left it at Dave's. Uh, they're really cute little things, uh, but also very nicely built and good looking. Uh, I'm going to use them to cover the mid-range and the treble. A nice touch uh, mark includes uh, mounting screws. And then in here are the um, connectors for the, the terminal connectors, which I probably won't use. I'll just solder connect. That's always my preference is to solder connect to the terminals. I was really happy to win these. This, is, uh, this was kind of one of the more sought after prizes. So I think I had a few people jealous. And you can see they're built by Mark Audio, but El um, Planet 10 Hi-Fi has done a few tricks to them. And these are some of the woofer options I'm considering. All right, guys, there you have it. That was the VI Vancouver Island DIY Fest. While I have you, let me put a plug in for Planet 10 Hi-Fi. They host this event every year and do an excellent job. They have lots of box designs and things like that for full range drivers and they modify lots of different full range drivers as well. They're worth checking out their website, I'll put a link in the description. Anyways, if you like what you saw in this video, please comment, subscribe, like, all that kind of crazy stuff. Check out these videos over here, subscribe over here, and uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Thanks, bye.